Hello everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 18! Chocolate first. It's another one of those like round whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Eggnog. Eggnog is a traditional holiday drink made with milk, cream, sugar, and beaten egg. It's often flavored with nutmeg and it can include alcohol such as rum. I've never had eggnog. I don't know what it tastes like. I'm kind of scared of it because I don't know why I'm scared of it. I love Christmas and I love the winter season and yet I have never tasted eggnog. So let's go make it and taste it. Welcome to my kitchen. Not my kitchen, my parents' kitchen and they're right there. So I don't know how to make eggnog. ChatGPT does. So I just asked ChatGPT how to make eggnog without alcohol and we're gonna follow its instructions. So we're going to need four large eggs. They're not very large, but they're eggs. So <gasps> they'll do. I broke it. It's okay, I'll just put it down like this. Half a cup of sugar. Half a cup. Two cups of whole milk. I don't know the difference between whole milk and full fat milk, so I'm just gonna use what I have at home, which is two cups of milk. I'm just gonna put it in here. One cup of heavy cream. So when I translate it in my head, I don't know the difference between heavy cream and just whipped cream and non-whipped cream and normal cream. I don't know the difference. I have this. This is this translates to cooking cream. And I hope that this, you know, will work. I'm 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 sure it will. Improvise, adapt, overcome. And you're gonna need one cup. I don't know how much this measures to. I think this is a cup. I'm not gonna cut it open yet. You're gonna need one teaspoon of vanilla extract and half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. I literally found nutmeg. I didn't think we'd have it, but I have it. And I have vanilla extract. Let's get started. You're going to need a medium bowl. In a medium bowl, you're going to whisk together the eggs and sugar until well combined and slightly thickened. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. My arm's tired, so I can't really do more than this. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. Okay. Next, you're going to heat the milk and heavy cream in the saucepan, in a saucer, sauce, I don't know the difference. And you're going to let it simmer, but not boil. So when that starts to simmer, not boil, you're going to add it to the sugar and egg mixture. And then once it's combined, you're going to put it back in the saucepan. So you don't add the sugar and the eggs to the saucepan. You're adding the milk and the creamer to the eggs. You okay? You're tired as hell. Literally me. So at this point, I'm going to take this off and start mixing it with the eggs. So before I put all of this back in the pan and the pan back on the stove, I am going to obviously like wipe the side. So the instructions now say to pour it back in the saucepan, which I did, and cook it over low heat, stirring constantly until it thickens slightly. And again, like we need to not make it boil. 
After that, we're going to remove it from the heat and stir in the vanilla extract and ground nutmeg. So once it is done cooking, then we add the nutmeg and vanilla. So I'm currently, I have it on like the highest heat setting because I'm trying to get it to like simmer again and then I'm going to lower it, but I'm going to make sure to not let it boil. It's starting to form bubble. Wait, that's not me. Yeah, see, it's like starting to form bubbles. So I obviously don't want it to cook. So now I'm going to lower it to like two, which is low heat. And from this point on, I'm just going to keep stirring. So it has thickened and the instructions said to wait until it slightly thickens. Now I'm gonna take it off the heat. Make sure it's right here. It's very thick, as you saw. And I'm going to stir in the nutmeg and vanilla. One teaspoon of vanilla extract and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. According to ChatGPT, the next step is to allow the mixture to cool, then refrigerate for at least a few hours or overnight. We're going to do it overnight, but not before I have a taste of it. And it says before serving, give it a good stir, sprinkle additional nutmeg on top if desired. Thank you, ChatGPT. It smells, it smells great. That's interesting. It's not bad. It's interestingly good. It's spicy. It's also sweet. It's interestingly good. It's spicy because of the nutmeg. So I'm going to refrigerate this overnight and then record the last part tomorrow. This vlog will probably be up a bit later today, but that was because I, I still have to film like a part in the morning. So let's get to the morning. It is currently the next day. So let's see how the eggnog has been doing. So this is what it's looking like, like a pudding. See, it's, I think, I think it's too thick, but it's jiggly. Guys, I don't think this is what it's supposed to be like. I would say, I think it's safe to say it failed. I'm going to try it from the spoon. It's not bad. I liked it better when it was warm. So I think I'm going to heat it up and drink it like, like that, like warm. Uh, but like this, like, mm, it's not my favorite. So I grabbed a new spoon since I, you know, tasted from that one. So this is what it currently looks like. It's a lot more jiggly <laughs> and less like chunky. Yeah, see, it looks better. It looks better, literally. Stop judging. I'm gonna prove you that it's good. Good. Yeah, no, it was a fail. I'm sorry, because I don't know if I use the correct ingredients. Maybe it's that. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and if you want to see more future content from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you tomorrow. Much love, bye bye!